it's, it's great to be in a county final. If you're not in it, you can't win it. And uh, as I say, Ballycastle laid it up to us the other day. It was, conditions were tough, strong breeze, you know, but it's pleasing to be in a county final, but nothing won yet. Okay. Um, Liam, what did you think in the first half whenever Ballycastle were making things difficult and the breeze didn't seem to be working for us? No, oh, it seemed to be that they were always going to play, you know, a couple of defenders uh, back and maybe try and close the whole thing out. But um, as I said to the other forwards that was around me to try and, you know, just keep patient and work with it. Uh, once we got to the second half, you know, like we knew the space was going to open up because they had been munching balls down into their full back line, which I thought our defence was brilliant today. And, as I say, it was up to us then to exploit the space up front. So, as I say, we're happy enough to be in a county final. And as Dee Dee says, there's nothing won yet, but there's a week and a half's hard work yet. Um, Dee Dee, do you, how did you feel with the conditions out there today? It seemed to be very breezy on the field. Ah, it's very breezy. It's sort of a game of two halves. Like, uh, it sort of ruins the game to a certain extent because everybody's just launching balls in. And it's, it's sort of easy for defenders to crowd it out, you know, and it's... It's tricky, like, but sure, you have to play whatever conditions are, you just have to go on with And you seem to be uh, under the spotlight there at the end. You had to uh, face three frees, I think it was, at the very end of the match. Ah, uh, it's, well, the referee said I was coming off the line. You know, it's, once he lifts the ball, I thought the ball was active. You know, he could, he could move then as soon as he lifts the ball, but he says otherwise, so I can't, I can't argue with him. You're back in the team again now. Uh, this was your first championship start this year. How did you feel it went personally for yourself? Um, as I said, the first half never really went particularly well for me, but um, it's not about me. Uh, I think it's about the team and the way the players have pushed everybody on this year for everybody to fight for a position. And um, I'm glad that the manager has given me, you know, been patient with me through the injuries and nursed me right through to here where I'm at. And uh, touch wood, you know, that hopefully I stay healthy and well. And, Johnny gives me a start now, uh, maybe in the final, and I say we'll be up for it anyway, and I say we'll be looking forward to another final. Ah, well, to be fair, Christian Dawes had, you know, maybe never been out of second gear yet, and that's not been disrespectful to any of the teams they've played, you know, but here, we know Christian Dawes, Christian Dawes know what's like. Christian Dawes got quality through their team, they got an all-iron final last year, and that's no easy thing to do, so Christian Dawes are good players, like, as I say, we'll sit down and do their homework, and try and get a plan to beat them anyway and see how it goes from there. OK, Johnny, congratulations on reaching your uh, first final as manager. Um, it's been a two-year absence. How do you feel? I'm delighted over the moon, like, uh, the work the boys have put in all year to try and get us to where we want to be. It's, it's been fantastic and got through a real tough battle there today, so I'm over the moon. How did you feel things were going there at half-time with uh, the, the strong breeze possibly favouring us in the first half? Aye, uh, it was, and there was only three points in it, but we knew the type of game Bally Castle was probably going to come with, the way they dropped deep, and to be fair to them, great credit to them, they make it tough for teams the way they do play. We still went in three points ahead, and it was just about a matter of not panicking then, and having the composure in the second half to finish out the job. In the second half then, do you, did you feel that, uh, did you change anything, or um, what was maybe said at half time in the change rooms? I suppose just with, just with the weather, it, it was going to be a game of two halves. It wasn't going to be made for free flow and hurling or whatever, but uh, just reiterate what we said at the start of the game, not to be panicking, just to keep our head up and, and hurl the way we know we can, or at least try to. Um, try and play to our strengths instead of nullifying Bally Castles, just to try and get the game on our terms. But oh, look, our boys performed pretty well over the hour, and that sets it up well now for the next two weeks. You would obviously be pleased about the strength and depth that you have um, with the panel there. There was a few men not on the team and a few boys come on. Um, how do you feel about the strength of the panel? The panel's good, definitely. Um, unfortunately, on any given day you can only play start 15. And, uh, but the attitude, I can commend our guys enough. The attitude they have, they do everything for the team, both inside and outside the hurling field. So, they realise too you can only start 15, but they're more than willing to, to give whatever they can, whether it be at training, whether it be coming on as a sub. It's, it's healthy, healthy for the team. As manager, um, this is your first time obviously as manager, have you found it difficult um, maybe having to name a team with a lot of the boys that you played along with? What sort of difficulties did you encounter there? It's, uh, I suppose any manager will tell you, it's, it is tough, and whenever you have a panel going well, it is genuinely tough to, to pick a start at 15. 
Um, but that's one of the beauties of having the strength in the panel. It's not nice telling boys they might have to sit out or whatever, but as long as they, they have the right attitude, it's just something that has to be done, and I have no qualms of doing it. And I, re- I know fine well that when called upon, and the guys will give up, put their body in the line for the team.